Hey, sunny boy. You are getting your sunnies today. You are getting your sunnies. Oh, let's show everybody what I got you yesterday at Petco. So, a fox literally pooped on my, well, I don't see it right now, my Lucy light on the solar. And so we've had trouble with foxes pooping on our stuff lately. And yes, they are foxes. We do know that. So I got Winston a fox toy at Petco yesterday. He was literally playing with it in the van. It was so cute. So now he has his own little fox so he can get it and tell it who's boss.
All right, today's project is working on my windows for stealth camping. So on my side doors, my back windows, and my back windshield, I have the heat shields. These are custom made covers uh, for privacy and heat and cold, so for insulation, from heatshieldstore.com. These things are absolutely amazing and I love them. I don't have them for my front windows. I have these curtains up and then I have a basic windshield visor in the front. So I got this poster board from the Dollar Tree. I got a whole bunch of it <laughs> in case of mistakes or whatever. I'm going to cut them to fit my front windows. And also I'm going to cut a piece to fit where the light comes in there. I'm also going to cut just some small pieces for where you see the light coming in on the corners of these side windows. Now my windows are super tinted and I've tested it at night. You can't see any light peeping through those small holes. But just for my own contentment, since I'm going to be stealth camping this year, I'm going to take a, like a leftover piece like this and just cut some little triangles and squares to fit in those corners. Um, so let the project begin. All right, here's my front window and here is a piece of poster board. So as you can see, it will fit except for over here. So I'll just need to cut a small extra piece and I will tape them together. That should work out just fine. Since I got so much poster board, I could really um, double them up, I think, but I'm gonna make one and just see how it goes. Y'all, it didn't work out with the poster board. There it is. It just didn't work out. It's just too thin, too much. So I decided I'm just gonna bite the bullet and buy another set of the heat shields for the front, but I'll probably still use those curtains um, as well just to kind of double up on the stealthiness and I did cut a piece of black poster board I have it in my windshield right now um, it's not perfected but it's there I'm going to see how it does tonight and let me show you what that looks like on the outside here let me put my shoes on hi Bubba so it's just a piece of poster board that I cut to essentially hang on my mirror and tonight we'll experiment with the lighting. This is the privacy curtain that I have between the front and the back. Now it's literally two yards of black fabric and it's just stuck in here with binder clips. So I use binder clips to hang lots of different <laughs> things in my van, including like my decorations and my tapestries. You can also use little tacks, um, so you can do that as well. And I actually think, because I didn't really think about it, since I have plastic right here, I might even attach like some Velcro so I can Velcro it right there. But the reason I had to add that cardboard was because with my big light on, you could see the light through that little crack. So this just allows for extra stealthiness and for it to be especially dark in my van. I mean, I might end up not needing it after I get the heat shields for the front window and if my poster board works out, but I always like to have it because it's just really easy to put up. Y'all, it's cold out today. Um, cloudy and breezy. It says it's 66 out, but I do not believe it. It's cold. It is New Year's Day officially, so Happy New Year, everybody. We had such a fun live stream last night. We were live for almost two hours and had 140 people watching. It was so much fun. Um, really a great way to start the new year. Like we just had a blast chatting with everybody and my meetup now is three weeks from today. So super stoked, but I have Winston in my lap right now because it's cold out and you know, it's cold when even he wants to be in the van during the day since he is an outdoorsy boy, but we are headed back to Buckeye tomorrow. Maddie and I have a bunch of packages to pick up at my house including my new Bluetooth microphones that I am so excited about. I have 
plans to do a lot more live streams this year now that I have Bluetooth microphones. And I know I'm like so behind on the eight ball with that, but it is what it is. So I'm going to um, have a lot of fun with that this year. And I also plan on going live at my meetup in a few weeks now that I have the microphones because I can set up my tripod and then record go live while having the Bluetooth microphone on me. So, so that's going to be really super awesome. So I started, um, I'm, I have a planner and I've been using a planner every year for the last five years because I, I love to write and take notes and everything. So not only do I put like appointments and like schedule stuff in here, but I write my shopping list, my to-do list, things I have to do when I'm back at the house, video ideas. My planner is kind of an all-encompassing like journal and to-do list as well. So I started my new journal for the year. I am going to bust out my laptop and do some work on that. I am ordering my new set of heat shields today. And I figure that's good stuff to just do while we're hanging out. It's around 2.30 and it's going to be chilly at the end of the week. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do after Buckeye, but I won't be there for long. I want to spend a majority of January in my van. I'm also doing dry January with my sister. <laughs> my sister's in Miami and she's training for her umpteenth Ironman race again this year. And, um... I just need to get my shit together, so no drinking for me for the next month. Going to jumpstart the year on a very healthy note. So I'm, I, well, I always have my water bottle, no matter what, and then I have my sparkling water that I'm drinking right now. And uh, yeah, so, so far we are off to a good start to the new year. My keys are still in my rooftop box. I hear them. I hear them hitting my roof. Wow, look at this boy. Oh my goodness. I got most of camp cleaned up. It was like so disastrous, so I just have a few things left. I'll pack them up a little bit later. It got so chilly that I literally closed the door most of the way. Winston's under the blanket. I even turned on my faux candles and my fireplace. Like, honestly, it's not often we have days like this, so I don't really mind, like, cozying up in the van. I'm, Winston and I are outside so much um, that it's nice to be able to hang out inside every once in a while. I just noticed my solar lights are on in my, <laughs> on my shelf because it's, like, dark enough in here right now. Um, I also when I was coming back in from town, I saw a javelina on the side of the road. And javelina are pretty prevalent in this part of Arizona. In many parts of Arizona, they exist, but especially down here near Tucson. And a javelina is a wild pig, if you will, boar. They don't have tusks. Well, the one I saw didn't have tusks. There's a difference. I just, I'm not a wild animal expert. <laughs> but anyways, it was a javelina. And um, they are generally afraid of humans, but they can be very aggressive and eat your food. So I tried to, I saw it from a distance. And I think in 25 years, that's like this, I've been in Arizona. It's like the second sighting of a javelina I've ever seen. It's crazy because in 2023, I saw a tarantula for the first time. I saw a few different snakes, actually three different snakes, which I don't often see in the wild. Thankfully, none of them were harmful snakes. And, um, well, I guess now technically it's 2024, but I saw javelina today. So I've seen a lot of different wildlife within the last year, but I tried to go up really, really slow to it so I could get it on video. But as soon as my van got within like 15 feet it ran off into into the vegetation so but it was it was neat to see um very very cool so like i said we are headed back into town tomorrow i have some other things i want to show you guys but it requires me to get out of my van and it's cold 
and this video has gotten to be pretty long. So I'm going to show you that in a video coming up and in the next couple of days I'm going to be doing some stuff at the house, switching out some solar, working on some projects. So I will take you guys along with me as I test out my new Bluetooth microphones. So with all that being said, again, Happy New Year. I hope your holiday season was wonderful. I look forward to you hanging out with me in 2024, and I will see you next time.